F. Scott Fitzgerald was one of the 20th century's greatest writers. F. Scott Fitzgerald perfectly captured America in the 1920s. He's also known as the author of one of the greatest novels of all time, The Great Gatsby. Francis Scott Key Fitzgerald was born in St. Paul, Minnesota on September 24th, 1896. When he was 13, F. Scott Fitzgerald published his first story in the school newspaper of the St. Paul Academy. When F. Scott Fitzgerald attended Princeton, he wrote musicals and also published pieces in the Princeton Tiger humor magazine. Because of his devotion to his writing in college, his academics suffered and had to leave after three years and he joined the army. He met his wife in 1917. He was in the army. He never went overseas or saw deployment, but he was stationed down for a while in Camp Sheridan near where Zelda lived. She refused to commit herself until she was sure that he had enough money uh, to support her. Fitzgerald was discharged from the Army in 1919 and moved to New York City. He published his first novel a year later. This Side of Paradise was an immediate bestseller and made him incredibly wealthy. A week after the novel was published, he felt comfortable asking Zelda to marry him, and they eventually had a daughter, Frances Scott Fitzgerald. It was the novel of the period, 1920, the beginning of what we call, and he called the Jazz Age. And it said that the initial printing in the first year or two sold over 50,000 copies, which was an enormous amount. In 1924, Fitzgerald moved to France, hoping to spark his creativity. A year later, he published his greatest work, The Great Gatsby. The word Gatsby has entered the American vocabulary. You will see people described as Gatsby-like. The event was like Gatsby party. The word Gatsby now means something. It is still probably the biggest selling great American classic. Over the course of his career, Fitzgerald wrote 178 stories and published them in magazines such as the Saturday Evening Post and in Esquire, and this helped financially support him in order to write his novels. Fitzgerald's subsequent novels, such as his 1934 Tender is the Night, never matched the success of The Great Gatsby. By most accounts, F. Scott Fitzgerald was an alcoholic. He struggled with depression, and he watched as his friends, like Ernest Hemingway, got more and more successful while he kind of got less and less successful. In 1937, F. Scott Fitzgerald came to Hollywood to write screenplays to make money as quickly as possible so he could then leave town again and work on what he really wanted to do, and that is write his novels. Fitzgerald was halfway through his final novel, The Last Tycoon, subsequently known as The Love of the Last Tycoon, when he died of a heart attack on December 21st, 1940. In my opinion, he is the greatest writer of the 20th century. You can take the Fitzgerald sentence and you want to reread it because it's so beautiful. If you take the last lines of Gatsby, so we beat on boats against the current, borne back ceaselessly into the past, who ever wrote a sentence like that? F. Scott Fitzgerald captured something essential about America with a glint of wit as reflected in a champagne glass. He's our great American writer.